Welcome back to Tim B's Tech Talk. Today, I want to revisit Velo. Velo is a fantastic video editor for iOS and Android. And the reason why I'm revisiting the app is that they just introduced Chroma Key. And a lot of people have been asking about this and very excited about the possibility of getting it. And guess what? It is here. And it is beautifully done. Let me show you what they've done here. So as you can see on screen, I have the PIP option selected. With that option selected, you see it brings a menu up along the side where you can bring in an image, a GIF, or a video overlay. Uh, in this case, I'm going to bring in a video overlay and bring in one of these green screen videos that I have in my library. And of course, Velo has this beautiful interface where they make it very easy for you to adjust your video clips once you bring them into your timeline. For example, you see the tabs on the top and bottom that enable you to crop the video. And of course, you can very easily trim your videos as well. And then there's this little line tool on the side of your clip where you can easily drag it in place in terms of where you want it to go. So in this case, I'm just looking at the wave sound indications to let me know where to start my video. Okay, I'm all set up, right? So now I want to show you the Chrome key option. Really cool. Uh, but first, I'm going to go ahead and use these sliders once again to crop my video so I can get as much of an even distribution of light as possible. Now the fun part, let's go ahead and use Chroma Key. So right down below with that video clip selected, I have the option to choose Chroma Key. And you'll see right away that you have this eyedropper tool. And the eyedropper tool will basically allow you to pick the range of color that you have if you're lucky, I mean, if you're doing a good job, it'll be evenly lit in my case. It's not, so I'm gonna to have to make some adjustments. It's brighter up top than it is on the bottom, but I'm gonna go ahead and just choose one area of that screen. And you can see right away, my light, my light is not evenly distributed as well as it could be. Doesn't stop you though, because you can make adjustments. Uh, let's go to the brightness. And it's with the brightness where I can begin to get rid of some of that background and then also make some finer adjustments to the hue. And you can just play around back and forth with the other tools like the saturation to get it exactly the way you want. And look, even with a, a video recording where the green screen lighting is not evenly distributed, I'm still able to get a pretty good key out of the app. So you just click done and play your clip back and you have a nice, Chroma key video built right into your project using Velo. Pretty cool. Love this app. Congratulations to the developers. They did an amazing job with this. You got to check it out. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Tim B's Tech Talk. Check me out next time.